So coming to details regarding surgery. Now, it won't be fair to say that cochlear implantation is not a complex surgery. It is a reasonably complex surgery and I don't think many centers worldwide offer it as well. Um, the surgery typically lasts two to four hours. But, but the right thing to say is that in experienced hands, it's a very safe procedure. If you look at our complication rates or the number of times we had a problem, it is a very, very low number. I think if I looked at my complications over the last about 200 surgeries that I've done in India, the, the complication rate is less than 0.5%. The truth is I can't even remember one guy who had a significant problem. So the surgery is a very safe surgery provided your surgeon is experienced and well trained. It isn't a surgical procedure that someone will just start to do one fine day. No, that's not right. Because the penalties that you have to pay if your surgeon gets it wrong are severe. One of the main complications that we have to describe for cochlear implantation is damage to the facial nerve. If that were to happen, then the child's facial activity, so all movements of the face on one side will be damaged forever. There will be some recovery, but it's never as good as normal. So injury to facial nerve that runs inside the ear is one risk that you have to sign up to. But like I said, you have to put things in perspective. If I look at my last 200 surgeries, the incidence of facial nerve palsy is zero. Zero is the answer. The other important thing about surgery in terms of risks are it's a general anesthetic procedure. Infection and bleeding and other risks associated with general anesthesia are important to consider. But if you're getting the surgery done in a good center with an experienced pediatric anesthetist in the case of children, these risks are again minimal. And if you ask me if I've ever had this complication, the answer is a very honest zero. So, like I said, in experienced hands, the complication rates are very low.